Hello there fellow chemists. Have you ever heard of the term chemical kinetics? Well if not, here's the drill. Chemical kinetics is an area of chemistry that deals with speed or rate of reactions of a certain object. In other words, it studies how fast a reaction occurs in a particular object. We have four factors that affect the rate of a reaction. Number 1. The concentration of a reactant. Imagine consuming a 500 mg of paracetamol instead of a 250 mg, which has the fastest effect on your body. As you can see, the higher the amount of the concentration, the rate of the reaction speeds up because the concentration of a reactant is directly proportional to the rate of reaction. This explains why a higher dose has the fastest effect when you have the flu. Catalyst used in a reactant in washing clothes using detergent isn't enough for the removal of odor and stains. That is where chlorine comes in or most common brand Zonrox. The acid that breaks down dirt particles and health detergent removes stain and odor from the clothes. Chlorine is a catalyst for it reacts with water and it produces hydraulic acid and atomic oxygen wherein the chlorine steals the oxygen atom from the garments of a clothes and leave a stable oxygen to return it from the process. Number 3. The particle size of a reactant. An example of this is powdered juice tree. Imagine two packets. One packet of powdered juice has finer particles, and the other one has clumps and are stuck together. Which one has the fastest reaction? The common answer is the first packet, which is correct. The finer particles has more surface area than of the bigger ones. That large surface area are used cause the particles to be more exposed to the solvent, making the rate of reaction faster. Temperature of a reactor. An increase in temperature typically increases the rate of reaction. An example of this is in metabolism, wherein low body temperatures slow down metabolism. That is why warm-blooded animals regulate body temperature so that their biochemical reactions run at the correct rate. But is metabolism actually bad? Some blame their weight gain on slow metabolism, which can affect the ability to keep off extra pounds. According to Dr. Luigi Menaghini, a person who has a slower metabolism and tends to conserve energy more, stores it as fat, which could lead to weight gain, keeping the other factors that plays a role in mind. Congratulations, you finally reached this level. In here, we're going to talk about some of the application of all the factors that affects the rate of reaction, specifically chemical kinetics behind baking bread. Particle size. When baking bread, one main ingredient is flour. And the finer the particle size of a flour, the greater its rate and extent of water absorption. The result will be a much softer dough and ready to be baked. Temperature. When baking bread, it is important to put it at the right temperature because the temperature has a significant effect on the results of the baked bread. A low temperature can underbake a bread, but a high temperature can overbake it. 
Concentration. When baking bread, we use yeast with a concentration around 2.5% to 2.8% because this makes the bread increases its volume expansion, which consumes the space around the pan. That is why it has a fluffy texture. In addition to that, the size of the bread depends on the amount of the yeast added in a mixture. Presence of catalyst. The enzymes in yeast catalyze the breakdown of sugar molecules in grain. That is why it makes the bread dough plump up and doubles in volume. And that's it for today's video! I hope you all learned a lot about the different applications of chemical kinetics in our daily lives. Stay tuned next time for another video fellow chemists. Comment down below some suggestions and follow up information about our video. Thank you for watching and always stay safe. I can't stop, I can't stop